Welcome to The Brandis Show. I'm so glad you're here today and I'm so excited to be with you. I'm just going to pro- I'm just going to proclaim some realities of who God is because if you've been listening to the shows or on a series, um there is a storm coming. There is a storm coming and it is here. Are you prepared? You need to get prepared. Listen to the other shows, I'll help you. Get prepared. Today, today, I want to encourage you and build you up because it's time. Uh, Here's a word for everybody listening to the show today. Okay. I'm not here for public approval. Maybe some people aren't going to like this. Maybe they didn't like any of the shows before, but I'm going to obey God and I'm going to do what God told me to do. And... If you, if you want to hear truth in troubled times, truth for troubled times, and you plug into the Brandon Show because that's what I'm going to be doing. Truth for tr- troubled times. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing it, but um, it, is a, it is a call to take a stand. And, and you better. You better. It's time to take a stand. It's time to wake up. It's time to open your eyes. It's time to... Listen to wisdom. It's time to abide in truth. And for all of you, uh, for all of you people that aren't putting Jesus first, you need to return to him. You need to return to the Lord. Repent and return that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Acts chapter 3, 17 through 19, I think. Um, It's time to wake up. Wake up. Everybody's been asleep, lulled to sleep by the enemy. It's time to wake up and realize what's happening. You are needed in the kingdom of God. You are needed to play your vital part in the kingdom of God. And let me just tell you, there's a spiritual war on the horizon. It's coming. It's right here, right now. The wave has hit our shore. This isn't just a physical battle that's going on between the left and the right, the Republicans and the Democrats. No, there is a spiritual war at the heart of this nation. And believer, let me tell you, persecution is coming. Are are you ready for it? Are you secure in Christ? Some of your freedoms are going to be challenged. Some of the things that you've grown up with and you've become comfortable with, they're not going to be there anymore. I'm not here the barren of bad news. I'm telling you the possible reality. As a matter of fact, I just saw some things the other day that came across my phone that I didn't even preach. And I'm not going to preach today. And it's already happened. Wickedness. Wickedness will rise. Well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You've got to get your eyes set on Christ. You've got to get your heart totally committed to Christ. You've got to get your ears listening to truth and wisdom. That's that's what's going to keep you from being deceived, divided, and falling away. You need to be in Christ. And that's where you need to be. You don't need to be going on your own mind. Your own mind will lead you astray. Your own heart will lead you astray. You need to have a living vibrant relationship with Jesus Christ. I do, or I do, I do the same thing. I can get myself in trouble with my head, you know, thinking that I'm right. Oh yeah. You know, if you think because you're a believer, you're, you're, you're free from temptation. Everyone is tempted. You only fall when you give into it. So, Stay close to Christ. I'm going to keep telling you that. Stay close to Christ. Stand. Stand. Take your stand. This is a spiritual war. Remember that movie, War Room? I actually kind of like that movie. Um, I, I think that that message was so apropos. Mm-hmm. I, I, as a matter of fact, it, I think it's for right now. It's for all times, but it's for right now. You need a prayer room. You need a spot where you can pray every day and be in tune with God. God will be talking to you. You don't need to be watching the TV and listening to the news to, to, to govern you. 
You need to hear the word of God. You need to be abiding in the word of God. You need to be filled with the spirit of God. You need to abide in the presence of God. That's where you need to be. That's where you're called to be. So, you know, here, you know, uh, a lot of people have a, they just have a misconception of God. So I'm just going to proclaim some truths today. I just felt like proclaiming some truth today. Simple truths. God is love, light, truth, grace, mercy. God is just, kind, holy, and righteous. He's a lot of other things, but you know, those are main aspects of who God is. If you're living in him, you're going to live in those. Have you ever thought about that? That what happens from to you when you live in him and he lives in you? Have you ever thought about that? If God is love, then I'll be loving. If God is light, I'll be light. If God is no, not if, God is. God is. Truth, you'll be truthful. Grace, mm, he's full of grace. You'll be full of grace. Uh, I'll be full of grace. Mercy, God is so merciful. His mercies are new every morning. You'll be merciful. Just, equal, wait. You'll be just. Kind, he's kind. God is so kind to us. You'll be kind. Holy. We are made holy through Christ. You're already holy. You don't have to work to be holy. You're holy through him. You're righteous through him. You need to live that out. It's a good word for me. Live that out. That we are the righteousness of Christ. It's in the Bible. We are the righteousness of Christ. Not ours. His. And um, taste and see. That's what the word says. Taste and see that the Lord is good, and God is good. Today I want to open up Psalm 46, and I, um, oh, wow, wow, wow. Somebody needs to hear this today, really, really and truly. Open up your Bible to Psalm 46. Everybody needs to hear this word in this day and in this day. Hour. This is a life-giving word for you. A life-giving word for you. God is our refuge and strength. <laughs> An ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Selah. What does that mean? Stop. Take a moment and ponder what has just been said. So just take a moment. Close your eyes. Just take a moment in the presence of God. Man, I'm feeling the presence of God. God's our refuge. God's my strength. Hmm. Did you catch that Selah moment? God is your refuge. God is your strength. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the most holy dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Selah. Take a moment and ponder, think about what has just been said and read. Come and see the works of the Lord. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. 
Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Selah. God is our fortress. If you're feeling like everything is shaken, it is. If you feel like there's nowhere safe to stand, who do I trust? Well, there's not a whole lot of people you can trust, but you can trust the Lord because He is our fortress. He is the truth in troubled times. And let me just say this, and, and gosh, I hope I get a whole bunch of likes and thumbs up and um, hallelujahs on this show. Let me just say this truth. Truth in troubled times, folks. Truth in troubled times. They can't silence God. They can't kill God. They can't cage God. They can't erase God. And they can't stop God. No matter what all of these Antichrist people do. Because it's an Antichrist spirit. It's always been around. No one. No one. Can erase God. They try. No one can silence God. God will always speak. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> I don't need my iPhone to hear God. Matter, I love my iPhone. I use it for a lot of things, but if I have to, I'll just throw it in the trash because ain't nobody going to silence God. Mm -mm. Oh, here's the other one. No one can kill God. They tried that. It didn't work. <laughs> you can't kill God. And you can't cage God. See, they're going to try and just... They're going to try and do a lot of things. Shut us down. Try to shut us up. You can't cage God. You try and cage God. Spirit of God is free over all creation. He moves freely wherever He wants to go. That's a paraphrase of the, of the Word of God. You can't stop the Spirit of God. No one can stop the Spirit of God. He's moving and He's shaking and He's rocking and rolling. He wants to ignite the church. That's what He wants to do. You can't, you can't erase God. You can't cage God. You, you can't stop God. Let me just think about that for a second. I hope every believer right now, you have your intellect engaged, you have your heart engaged, you have your spirit engaged. Nobody can stop God. <laughs> it's not going to happen. We're part of a kingdom that can't be shaken or destroyed. If you're a believer, you're in the kingdom. Live in the kingdom. Keep your focus on Christ. That's what we need to do. Focus on Christ. Keep your eyes on Christ. Worship Him. Worship Him every day. Praise Him every day. Be thankful every day. Live in thankfulness every day. And you'll be happy. Just be grateful. Be thankful. Live in God. Enjoy God. They can't, they can't stop that. Nobody can shut down the Spirit of God in me. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> it's not. It is not going to happen. So I want to encourage you, get your mind on God. Set your mind on Him. Let your heart be filled with Him. Let your life be guided by Him. The three things that I told you in the previous shows I'm telling you now, be in the Word, be in the Spirit, and be in peace. All of those are in Christ. So that is what you need to be doing. <laughs> simple. I mean, it's so simple, but we don't do it. Live in the Word, be filled with the Spirit, and abide in peace. Who's our peace? 
Christ, our Prince of Peace. I hope that this encouraged you today. And if you need to contact me, Branded Believer, you can find me on Facebook. Go to my website, markthompson.live. And obviously, you can plug into The Branded Show. Make some comments. Let me know how you like the show. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but I'd like to hear from you. God bless you. And as always, live loved. Mm -hmm.